Hi all, this is Jan Almighty and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about pawn endgames, specifically the rule of the square. So what is this rule of the square? Uh, in this case we have a position where white is pawn up uh, and uh, the pawn is on the end of the board. And we want to see can the black king actually reach it before he ends up being a queen. So we draw a diagonal like, like this and we see we have a square and currently the black king is inside that square so this would actually mean that the black king can reach the pawn before he turns into the queen but in this situation since the white pawn is on the beginning of his uh, position uh, he can actually move by two spaces so for example if he moves by two then his square beca becomes this and unfortunately black cannot reach it because he moves to f8 or f7 and this way he cannot reach it so let's see that king f8 a5 king e8 a6 king d8 a7 king c8 and queen but for example if uh, we can turn back to the beginning of the position if white played a3 instead of a4 then the square is this size as you can see now black king can enter the square and he can safely safely capture the pawn i mean the first the pawn will become the queen but he can then safely capture it as you will see so he plays king to f8 a4 king e8 a5 king to d8, a6, king to c8, a7, king to b7, because uh, pawn is actually attacking b8 square, he pushes a8 to queen, and black king can capture it. Okay, so let's uh, check out some other positions where we will learn something more about the rule of the square. So here, uh, as we can see, what is again pawn up, and uh, let's draw the square first. So the square goes like this. And now we can see depending on who is first to move. Uh, uh, if white is first to move, he will win the game. And if black is first to move, uh, he will enter the square and he will safely capture the piece. Okay, so a5, king uh, a4, let's check out first for white. a6, king d5, a7, king c6, and this is queen. So okay, easily winnable. Uh, if you can check out my video about Queen Endgames. Okay, but let's check out uh, this situation where uh, black is first to move. So he plays king e4 and let me draw the square once again. As you can see, black has entered it. Okay, so a5, king d5, a6, king c6, a7, king b7, uh, queen and he is capturing it. Okay, so now that you learned about the rule of the square, I would also like to show you some positions where a rule of the square isn't enough actually to uh, win or draw the game. So here, for example, uh, we have once again white is pawn up, the pawn is on h2, and if we draw the square, we can see that uh, the black king is safely in it, and even if white is first to move, he can play h4, uh, the square becomes like this and uh, the black king plays to d4 and uh, he will reach the pawn and it will be a draw. So let's check it out. As you've seen in the previous situations, uh, black king reached the pawn and uh, it's a drawn position. But, okay, if we can go back to the start. Um, for example, here, instead of h4, White actually plays another move. He plays king to e7. And why is this? Uh, because actually black king wants to reach the pawn. But uh, we can help with, our, with the help of our white king, we can get into the way. So he goes king to d4 and we play king f6. And now we have actually uh, taken up enough space for our pawn to get promoted to a queen. So let's check it out. For example, here uh, black has two options. He can play d5 or e4. Let's see, e4 is a more natural move. So we play h4, king f4, 
h5, king g4, and the pawn has escaped. And eventually he will become a queen, no matter what the black plays. Okay, so let's check out another position. Here, once again, uh, we have a rule of the square, and as you can see, without me drawing it, uh, black is safely in it. So, for example, if we play a4 here, uh, he will just play king to b4 and a5, and this is a drawn position. But if we go back once again, uh, white can prevent this. So he plays king to c5, and now uh, the black king actually cannot go here because the pawn is uh, actually defending that square, and he actually goes to b2, for example. But now with a4, we are safely esca escaping with the pawn. And this pawn will eventually become a queen or a rook, depending on your preference. And now uh, white will win the game. And okay, one final position. Here, once again, uh, we can see that uh, the black king is in the, in the square. So let me draw it once again. And if uh, white plays a4, he can safely reach here before the pawn becomes a queen. Okay, now also white plays a7, for example, but doesn't matter what he plays. Uh, essentially, the black always plays king to b8, king to a8, and this is a drawn position. But let's go back. First, white should play king to b7. And this way, the black king cannot reach the pawn because the white king is helping it once again. So if he, for example, plays a natural move, king to d6, play a4, king c5, a5, king b5, a6, and the white king is protecting the pawn, and he will safely become a queen. So let's show it in a couple of moves. As you can see, this is a queen, and now you can checkmate the black king. Okay, so now that you learned about the rule of the square and also some positions where, for example, white king can help, since uh, in all of the positions white was a pawn up, you can uh, try and solve these positions, which I will show you now. Okay, here is the first position. As you can see, once again, white is a pawn up. And uh, you would have to write, uh, for example, in the comments, uh, can white win this game? Or is it a drawn game uh, using the knowledge about the rule of the square and uh, other things that you learned from this video? Also, another position here as well, you have to say, is it the drawn game or can white win the position? And here is the same. So uh, when you are writing in the comments uh, your solutions to, to these problems, please explain of course, uh, why do you think uh, white is winning or why is it a drone game? Show some moves and uh, essentially show what you learned from this video. Okay, so this is it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.